Hello, my name is Franz and today I'm going to show you the automatic dust filter in the Diamond Film Restoration software. Um, we do have other tutorials showing how to import stabilized the flicker the sequence, but in this tutorial we will just focus on the automatic dust filter. So in here you see I have loaded up a sequence containing quite a lot of dust. Uh, we have not only dust spots, we have some other problems, uh, defects in here as well. And our dust filter can deal with a large variety of single frame defects, like dust, random scratches, uh, these black holes here and so on. In order to get an automatic dust into the system, we go to the filter track, hit the plus symbol, and would select in the repair group the dust filter. Clicking on that, the dust filter will expand automatically to the current scene or shot. Uh, when dropping down a filter like dust, the dust filter will automatically be rendered on the very frame with the current um, parameter settings. In here we have the default settings of the dust filter. To see what the dust was doing, we can toggle between A and B. A is the after the restoration and B is before the restoration of this timeline. Uh, we can either click on A, B here to toggle this before after, or we can use the tap key, which is more convenient. Here you would see then the, what, where the dust filter did something to the image. Especially for the dust filter, it's nice to see uh, the difference between A, B highlighted, and we can do so in going into viewing modes here, and say, I want to see the difference highlighted in red. Here we see now in red where the dust filter did apply something. As I said, these are the default settings of the dust filter. So let's go to the parametrization of the dust. The first parameter and the most important one is sensitivity. With sensitivity, you can choose the sensitivity of the dust detector. This means a lower sensitivity will detect less dust and probably will also make less problems by over detecting. A high setting could uh, go, uh, could lead to this that some grain or grain and noise parts are also detected as dust. Let's see how it would look. Let's go with the dust sensitivity down to 0.2 and we see that just the most prominent um, areas are detected as dust spots and some more difficult dusts are not taken into account. We see also we lose this one, uh, which is probably another typical dust, but yeah. Um, a high sensitivity, let's go to sensitivity 0 0.8, which is quite uh, uh, already a quite aggressive setting. Uh, you will see in this case, we would probably go some a bit into uh, the, 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 the noise grain structure, which we want to avoid. So in this case, I would choose um, a conservative setting like uh, 0 0.4 is quite good for this. Then there are, there's another parameter uh, that called safeguards. This means that inside the dust filter, there are several ways to avoid problems, side effects. And uh, when I put this up completely, then it's in a safe, very safe mode. But the disadvantage in this mode is that you would lose probably some dusts to be detected. The other way around, when I turn safeguards off, it will detect almost all dust spots, but also uh, 
in difficult motion situations, the likelihood that something wrong is being detected increases. So at the end of the day, it's a balance always between sensitivity and safeguards to, and de depending on your needs as well. Then some simple things to change is the minimum size of a dust spot. So I could say I just want to do bigger spots. So let's enter like 10 here and we will see, okay, no small spots are found anymore. The other way, uh, sorry, uh, the other way around is maximum dust spots. This is in square pixels. 100 would mean an uh, area of about 100 by 100 pixels is the maximum size. Let's go to 10. So that would be 10 by 10 as a maximum size. And we will see, we see we lose the big, the big black spots over here due to the maximum size. Uh, another very convenient setting is remove bright spots and remove dark spots. So sometimes you have just bright or dark dust and if this is so you can limit it to just bright or dark uh, single frame defects which will help in reducing uh, problems. But most of the time, and in this case, we have bright and dark appearances of single frame defects we want to fix. So we leave both on. Uh, the next one is motion confidence. Um, this means um, this is very helpful if there are more um, complicated motion and due to the complicated motion, it can happen that uh, the dust filter is detecting something wrong and with motion confidence high, you can protect these areas. But again, if the motion confidence is high, you probably lose some dust spots you wanted to uh, fix at the end. So that's, as I said, there is always a balance behind this both. Okay, so typically you would look at different settings uh, on different frames to check if your setting is good or not. Um, so you can do this and then you can adjust your parameters and so on. And if you like your parameters, you probably, uh, uh, if you like your parameters, you just need to render either this shot, the whole timeline, or whatever you have set. I have here render shot, which means it sends the current shot to the render, and it will render this in the background. Um, as you can see here, we have an overscan of the material. Sometimes by checking dust spots, you don't want to, to let the focus of your eyes being disturbed on this. For this, we have uh, a blanking for the viewer, so we could blank out the areas which we don't like yeah, to see. So these areas would not affect then, um, us from checking the dust spots. Also, there is the different other views, like instead of difference AB, I could go to a side by side, or side by side, horizontal, which means I see left the before and right, I see um, the areas with the dust spots, uh, the corrected area and right the, the version before. Um, so let's play the side by side of this sequence. And we could also switch back to the difference mode and you can see, well, it has cleared out quite a lot of things already. So doing this manually would be out of scope, I think. Yeah. So, so we have done a great job and now the question is how we would deal, because nothing is perfect, how we would deal with some things which are left over uh, or with false detections, which can happen sometimes. So let's step through the sequence. And if you're used to look at problem areas, you will 
in the difference mode can easily spot areas and i have spotted one already over here when you look here and this area and i can zoom in a little bit when you look here here we have a big change in the picture turning bright to dark this is a difficult area probably and we see this looks quite like an um, artifact a side effect i go to a b toggle a b and i see oh yes here and here it did do something so how can we get rid of this error in diamond it's quite easy we go to the tool track that's for the uh, single frame interventions i go here select history brush which brings me back in history i select the brush here as well i can choose it with or without softness and i would unpaint and go to this previous frame i would unpaint this area and my side effect is being corrected on the other hand of course it can happen that something is left over uh, not being detected and for this area let's see if i find so probably turn off the difference mode like here on his shirt you see there is still a remaining something which i probably want to fix yeah because it's disturbing also go to the tool trick i can go to the dust i like to select sensitivity 100 in this case and softness is quite high but like this i mark the area and the system will fix that motion compensated of course so with this two techniques as a first automatic setting then with the history brush i can undo unwanted changes and with the tool dust or i could also choose clone or interpolate there are other tutorials for that i could fix parts of the images which are not being fixed automatically so i hope this was a good introduction into the diamond film restoration using um, automatic dust with interactive corrections in diamond thank you for listening and watching and hope to see you soon bye